Hello, this is Technology for Frank, under Android 22, a program of C, uh, which tells us about nested law, for that we we'll use for law, and for nested law, in which we will try to find a number of sequence like this, like in the first one, sorry. In the first one, we have got five ones, in the, in the second line, we have got Five two, then five three, then five four, and five five. So we we'll print a number like this, a number like this, in which we have to initialize the rows by one. That is, if you look at it, we have got the first row, then second row, then third row, then fourth row. That you initialize to one. While it goes up to five, we can see here, and, and it will be increment by one each time it is being executed where we have got in columns also is like a print the column not only the row that means the column is also initialized by one as you can see here at first we have got first column then second column then third column then fourth and five we have got five columns here so here we have got uh, columns less than or equal to five while columns Will be increased by one and inside the for loop inside the column we will do it like and that we'll print the number that is this row we'll print the numbers row and we'll execute we'll go to the com uh we'll go to the columns for that what i have got here we will break down the line at this point so that's why when coming out of the column that is one time it will the rows will be executed or executed and after that well after executing the column also and the first row will be executed and the first row will be result will come and after that the column will be column will be executed the column will be come then after reaching at this point uh, sorry at this point let me control x and control v after reaching at this point which will have to Break it, break the line and form a new line. So for that we will, for that we will put a uh, new line. That is, yes. and so we have formed a new line though. And if you compile it, let us compile this. So let us still list it. And I let us compile it. Yeah, you can see that the, the output is same as that but what what if we don't know the number of rows that we need we can print up to six also we can print up to seven also we can print up to eight also we don't know the number of rows so for that we will make a new variable called as n uh, let us tell n n1 and where n1 is the number of rows so yeah, we will write down like in that enter the number of rows. So we will do like this. Then we will ask for the value that is can have percentage B. Then we will have code here. We will have to ask for the value that is N and one. So if we compile it again, we can find out that if we write down here the row number that is equal to 8, let's suppose, then we can find out that it will not work. So for that, we will have to make the condition also that it must that row that the row must go up to it and one the value which we are given. So now if we compile it and if we just value it then we will draw with the F row. So similarly you can do with the column also. And for the column we will again form a new variable. Then we will ask for the column, number of column. That is, enter the number of columns. And here we will try to break a new line here at the beginning. Yeah, we are trying to break a new line. 
and here is scanning up we ask for the value using our format specify what is the pay and and go and same thing we will done here that as that of row that which will have to be condition up to where we need the column that is and happy it will ask the number of rows i will tell us to hit one number of columns uh, let me give up the saving so that you can see here there are eight rows and seven columns this is for the next row to print the number of rows and columns yeah. okay now finished